Narrowing a search. Objectives. After viewing the video, students will be able to identify the correct explanation of narrowing a search, identify three ways to narrow a search. You've been in this position before. You do a search and get thousands of results. No? Well, let's just do a search on the term coronary in PubMed. Now you understand the need to be able to narrow a search. Adding more terms will narrow a search, so think about what you really want to know about coronary. Are you interested in children who have heart attacks? Pediatric heart surgery? The rejection rate of heart transplants and the drugs that have been tried to prevent rejection? Consider working down the list of who, what, when, where, and why. Let's start with heart surgery. The what? Pediatric. That qualifies the who. Are you interested in an ethnic group? That's another who qualifier. In the United States? That's a where qualifier. A population in a different country, say China, that's a different where. In the current decade or in the past century? When? Due to what? Malnutrition? Bloodborne diseases? Bad genes? Each time a term is added, the pool of articles that will fit the criteria is theoretically reduced. Why is that? Because the results for coronary will be limited by the age factor for pediatric birth to 18 years. China limits the possible results further. Oh, did you want articles only in English? That will limit your results further, as will the time frame for your search, say 2000 through 2014. You can see how adding terms can drive your results to the point that they are too narrow. Expanding a search is simple. Just delete one of the search delimiters or change one to a less restrictive term. Try the coronary exercise in PubMed and then try it again in PsycInfo just for the experience of seeing how the process works. There is no right number of results. Only you can know when your research is too narrow or too broad. Reading the abstracts will give you a sense of whether your search is on target. Be practical. On the one hand, if you have a week to write a paper, you may not have time to read abstracts for 200 articles, much less read some 50 relevant articles in their entirety, evaluate them, and craft a meaningful paper. On the other hand, a term paper with skimpy references for a topic that has been widely discussed in the literature is not going to impress your professor favorably. Searching on relevant topics is a skill that comes with practice, so practice early in the semester. That way you will be comfortable with the process when you need to focus on your papers. Ask your teacher or a librarian if you are not getting the search results you expected. We are here to help you build your skills as well as your knowledge.